set the best example I can as a human being to offer a sense of hope and the idea that we can achieve our dreams. Elegant, very dignified. It's got a great weight to it. The numerals are Arabic. Appreciate. You know, if you feel confident in yourself, and every day you're aspiring to be exactly who you want to be, that to me is making it. The last few weeks I've spent most of my time reading, I think, and I've just discovered Queer Eye, so that's been a highlight. Um, and I'm most excited for any sense of spontaneity, even the idea of like walking down a high street and dipping into shops, and a bookshop or something, and the cinema. I'm excited for the cinema. Um, and I'm most excited for any sense of spontaneity. I'm excited for season two because I think it gets a lot more political than season one. We kind of dive into real life politics, the politics that a lot of our politicians and um, a lot of us are discussing at the moment. It's very topical. Um, yeah, I think a lot of Ryan Murphy surprises are parsley. In season two, we find Astrid, I think, starting to deal with a lot of the characteristics that she started to identify at the end of season one. So we, yeah, we see her kind of coming to terms with a lot of her own traits and habits and characteristics. Um, and this season we get to see her, I think, at her most vulnerable and also her fiercest. So always slightly unpredictable. My high school, senior school experience was very, very different to that of Astrid's. Thankfully, I think, I'm pretty grateful to have not have gone to a school as St. Sebastian High School. I think that would have been a very stressful existence. Um, yeah, mine was far less politically oriented and far less stressful, I would say. Thankfully. I think that is true. Astrid is definitely a power dresser. Um, and that's what was so fun, I guess, about collaborating with Claire and Lily, our costume designers. Um, because every outfit was very deliberate and very specific for the scene or the moment or the tone of that that we, that we were filming. Um, so yeah, definitely a power dresser. I think, well, with Astrid, I mean, all of her outfits are very complete looks. So I wish I, my style, my day to day style was slightly more like Astrid in that sense. Kind of the full collaboration of an outfit. Um, I can't say my daily style is like that. I wish it was. But I think I, I would love to have a little bit more Astrid in my wardrobe, I think. Hell yes. I've been glued to Google Images exploring all of her very iconic looks, so I think my wardrobe's going to need a bit of a vamp up after that film. I 
It has definitely changed the experience and the kind of preparation experience. I think being an executive producer on this has been such a valuable education about, uh, with a kind of more 360 view of filmmaking. Um, and I've been able to be much more hands-on in the process much earlier on than I would have otherwise got to. Um, so have more kind of input on the development of the project and the development of the script as well, and casting, which has been very exciting. Um, but yeah, it's just been a really exciting education. Um, and so I think just being able to start much earlier has kind of changed the way that I'm going to pre prepare for the role as well. It's kind of given me uh, a very thorough and exciting head start.